Greetings and welcome to the Fan Perspective. I'm your host Nathan Nile, and here with my continuing coverage of the 2015 NBA Playoffs. Today I'm going to be recapping the Western Conference matchup between the number one seed Golden State Warriors and the number four, five seed Memphis Grizzlies. You know, this is my second time doing this, and I still messed up on their name. I don't know why. I've got a migraine, and it's really fucking with my systems right now. I'm powering through it. So, game one, the Grizzlies, they played without Mike Conley, and the Warriors, they came out firing on all cylinders. They took the lead early and never let go of it. Memphis fought hard, but the Warriors maintained complete control for all four quarters. Golden State had five players in double figures, led by a 22.7 assist four steal game from Curry, as the Warriors win game one, 101 to 86. Then in Game 2, Curry receives the MVP trophy before the game, and for the Grizzlies, Mike Conley suited up, and that seemed to make all the difference. The Grizzlies were able to slow down Golden State, maintaining control throughout the first half, going into halftime with an 11-point lead, and they were able to hold on to a lead throughout the entire second half. The Grizzlies had four players in double figures, led by 22 from Conley, and for just the third time this season, the first time in the playoffs, the Warriors actually lost a home game game. Grizzlies win 97 to 90. Then in game three the series moves back to the grindhouse and in the first quarter things stayed relatively close but Memphis started dominating the second quarter leading by as many as 17. You know, they also maintained control for the entire second half and it looked like they were going to run away for with an easy win but late in the fourth the Warriors started making a run suddenly the gap was shrinking but a common theme throughout the game was that every time the Warriors got this close the Grizzlies started hitting shots and breaking away again. The Grizzlies finished with four players in double figures led by 22 from Randolph as they win it 99-89 to taking a two game to one lead on the series. Then in game four the Warriors they came out the Grizzlies came out strong again but the Warriors they came out a little bit stronger. Uh, it was touch and go from the start but the Warriors took control and held on to lead for most of the half leading by eight at the end of the first quarter and 17 at the end at halftime thanks to a 21 point effort from Curry. Uh, they continued their efforts after the break, leading by 20 for the majority of the second half. The Grizzlies just couldn't compete. Uh, the Warriors had five players in double figures, led by 33 from Curry as they, they win 101-84, to evening up the series. Game 5 moves back to Oakland, and the Grizz, for the Grizzlies, Tony Allen, he sits out the game. Zebo he gets off to a hard start, scoring 9 of the Grizzlies' first 11 points. He also grabbed 5 of their first 7 rebounds. Memphis held a lead for the entire first quarter until Curry decided to just go off. He hits four three-pointers, giving the Warriors a one-point lead going into the second quarter. And once those three started falling, the Warriors were just in control. They took an eight-point lead into the halftime, and they just continued dominating throughout the entire second half. The Warriors had four players in double figures, led by 21 from Thompson, as they win 98-78. to taking a commanding 3-2 lead on the series. And so now, Game 6, back in the grindhouse, the Grizzlies facing elimination. Tony Allen returns to the starting lineup, and the Warriors, they were in control from the opening tip. The Splash Brothers hit six three-pointers in the first quarter, and the Warriors led by 13. The entire Warriors team did not make a single three-pointer in the second quarter, but they still go into halftime with a nine-point lead. Memphis starts grinding away in the third quarter and slowly start working their way back. They got within one point of the Warriors before Golden State started hitting some shots and breaking away again. And the Warriors, they end the third quarter with an eight-point lead. Memphis, they kept fighting throughout the fourth, but they just couldn't close the gap. The Warriors, they finished with five players in double figures, including double-doubles from Curry and Green. Warriors win this game 108-95, to winning the series four games to two, and advancing to the conference finals for the first time since, like, before I was born. And they're, they're, they're awaiting the winner from the Rockets and Clippers series. They're playing game seven tomorrow.